Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'm going to talk about iron deficiency in plants. So iron deficiency in plants is most commonly seen like this. You can see the leaves should be a dark green colour, much more like these older leaves down here. But what's happened is the leaves have gone quite yellow and the veins have stayed a little bit greener. So you can see there the veins are still quite green, but in between the veins has gone a very yellow, pale colour, almost white in places. So this is the basil plant that I'm using to demonstrate. The reason I know this has got a, um, a low iron content is because I've had it in water and it's just pure water so it's been allowed just to have no nutrients at all that's why it's starving. So the reason plants need iron is they need it to produce chlorophyll. It's an important ingredient for them to make the, in the process of making chlorophyll. So without it they aren't able to manufacture as much chlorophyll as they need to. And for that reason the leaves appear kind of a yellowy white colour. That's because there's not much chlorophyll left in the leaves. And as chlorophyll is the part of the plant which it uses to produce energy from the sunlight, if a plant doesn't have enough chlorophyll, it's not really going to grow at all because it can't get enough energy from the sunshine. And eventually, if there's not enough iron at all, the chlorophyll will eventually run out and the plant will die completely. So iron deficiency is normally seen in plants which are more acclimatized to more acidic soils. And the reason for that is because in acidic soils, the iron is much more freely available. It's, it's uh, much more easily dissolved by water because of the acidic conditions, and the plant can uptake it much more easily. So plants like rhododendrons, camellias, uh, some of your citrus fruits as well, like lemons, they all like acidic soil. So if the soil isn't very acidic, if it's neutral or even alkaline, they're going to really struggle to absorb the isn't iron because iron won't be available in very high concentrations. It'll still be in the soil, but it just won't be as easily available because it needs that acidic quality of the soil to really dissolve the, the iron minerals and allow the plants to absorb them. So you'll also get iron deficiencies. You can get iron deficiency in any plant, to be honest, but most soils do contain a quite a decent amount of iron in them. It's just that most of the iron is locked up and is not accessible because it's either uh, blocked out by another mineral such as phosphorus. So often if you have a lot of phosphorus in the soil, that can kind of block um, the iron from being absorbed by the plant. And also if the soil is very waterlogged, that can also help uh, make it difficult for the plant to absorb the, the iron as well. So as I say, you normally see this on plants which like an acidic soil because they're used to high iron concentrations, but any, any plant can suffer from this deficiency. As I say, these are the telltale signs of it. So if the plant is living in a soil that's very alkaline, or as I say, has too much phosphorus, this can also make it very hard for the plant to get enough iron. And this is sometimes shown if you're in a very alkaline area, you'll see a lot of your plants get quite chlorophytic like this. Or even if they're not this extreme, they'll just be kind of a pale green. If you give them um, iron sulfate though, that helps raise the pH, also adds more iron to the soil, and that will help the plants absorb it more easily. That's probably one of the easiest way to fix an iron deficiency. Another way is to use chelted iron. You can use that as a foliar feed, or you can just use it as a, as a watering feed, and that will really remedy it very quickly. Um, but the main thing is you've got to keep the pH level a little bit higher in your soil, and that will just make it more available to the plants. So a bit of pH testing is quite important with this. As I say, most soils do have enough iron in it, but as a quick fix, you can just give it iron sulfate because that does both increase the levels of iron in the soil and also increases the acidity, so any iron that is in the soil is more readily available. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up a time lapse. I'm gonna actually treat this. I'm gonna give this plant, as I say, it's just, it's just a rooted cutting in water. So it's very easy to change the mineral solution that it's growing in. As I say, it's been in pure water, but it's gone very brown because of the and green because of algae. It was originally a pure green, but now all the iron that was in the water originally has been absorbed. It's kind of gone, the algae's kind of died and gone brown. So what I'll be doing with this is I'll be putting it on a time lapse. I'll treat it in two ways. I'll give it a foliar feed of chelted iron, and that should uh, be absorbed by the plant almost immediately. And I'll also give it a feed with liquid feed in the water that it's growing in. That will be absorbed almost immediately as well. It will be absorbed very fast. And then as the time lapse goes on for a few days, you'll see the leaves just start to go green again. And it'll also put on a lot more growth. Because at the moment, it hasn't really grown at all. It's been sitting there dormant. And the reason for that is there's not enough chlorophyll in the plant, so it can't produce enough sugar for growth. But as soon as the iron's back in its system, 
it will produce the chlorophyll, the leaves will go green again, and once the leaves are green with a blend of chlorophyll, it can produce enough sugars again to go back into growth. So I'll leave you now with the time lapse and you'll be able to see it greening up nicely and recovering from its iron deficiency.